Hey guys, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, and this is the outside of my Coachman Clipper Cadet 16 CFB, 16 feet long. Uh, the patio is 5, 10, 15, 25, 26 feet by 18 feet. My patio cover is 18 by 26. So I have plenty of room for my little RV. And what can I tell you about it? That is a power awning. Again, this is uh, well. This is uh, Saturday, the 28th of uh, uh, October, 2017. I love the color. It's kind of a cream color and black, and the awning is black. But and it's power awning, and that is unbelievable. As cheap as this thing was, they come with a power awning. What a deal! Uh, <clears throat> on the outside, of course, got a double 110 outlet right there. If I can get my finger in the right direction, right there. There is the access to the uh, storage underneath the bed there's a window there and then of course there's the little roof drain right up there okay and what else can i tell you about this side anyway these it's got uh, one uh, it's got three windows one there one there and then one on the other side big screen door everything's great got a single step not a double step single step and what else what I, can i tell you okay let's walk around here this again this is my home base in central texas there's my washing machine. It's uh, cold water only. I've got just cold water hooked up to it, and I use it about once a month, and it's a, it's wonderful. And there's a little three-drawer file, and that, that thing with all the little strings hanging off of it is called a, a uh, umbrella dryer. Okay, and what you do is you take this little thing here, excuse me, if I can find this little metal thing right here, and put it in here and then the umbrella dryer fits on it opens it up just like a umbrella it's got all those little strings and you can hang your clothes on it and dry your clothes outside and that's what i do so now we'll go around to the other side or the front and we'll talk some more and then i'll tell you once i get through going around it, i'll go over all the info that i've written down so that you have everything you need to know about a 2018 coachman clipper cadet 16 cfb they also make a bunk bed model that's the same thing it just has bunk beds okay right in the front there is one 20 pound propane tank with a cover all right it does not come with a cover i bought that from amazon for 30 bucks okay and I also added the sway bar because it does not come with a sway bar okay it does not have any jacks in the front but if you'll notice there are two that i've added one on each side those are just some old manual jacks. You can buy those at Walmart or anywhere. I don't know how much they cost. Uh, but yeah, and, and, so, and that really stabilizes it because without those two jacks, if you just have the two jacks in the back that it comes with, it's not very stable, okay? It'll, it'll move as you walk around on the inside, okay? So you'll need that. Okay, and then this little old deal right here, if you can see that, that's for the uh, stabilizer. You got a little ball like that on your pickup and uh that they, they hook, if you know what a stabilizer looks like they hook together anyway this is just a little lock for to keep honest people honest i may change that i'm not sure and uh, again one propane tank 20 pounds cost you about eight, uh maybe 12 14 to get it filled up okay this is the other side of the rv and it's under the cover of course and you have access to the storage from either side outside okay now let's take some more there's the air conditioner on the outside. It's really well sealed. I sprayed up there with water and no leaks. Thank goodness. I mean, they did a good job on that. And that's the uh, vent for the vent hood on the inside. Uh, that is the water heater right here with a cover to keep the bugs out. Uh, this is the vent for the refrigerator right here. This is the water hookup, obviously. Uh, this is where you add fresh water right in there, right there. And then underneath, right underneath here, is the fresh water drain there's a little hose there with a knob on it you take that off and you can drain your fresh fresh water tank if you need to okay and there i've got some blocks under the wheel notice that it is a single axle not double axle single axle all right the reason they do that is two reasons one it saves money and two it <clears throat> reduces the weight a, a lot i guess and then up here, of course, you've got, this is the vent for the furnace right here. I've got some bug covers on those. And, uh, of course, that's the uh, electric right here. And then right underneath is the cable satellite deal. So, you know, if you, if, you, if you had an outside antenna, you could plug it in here and then use that 
hookup on the inside. And of course, there's the uh, the tanks, the valves for the tanks, the black and the gray water. And then there's one of the screw jacks. There's another screw jack on the other side. <clears throat> this right here, this opening right here, this is so you could actually pull this off and put your uh, sewer hose in there if you wanted to, or your drain hose. I never do. I always just put them in a plastic bag, throw them in the back of the pickup after I clean them out real good. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, got a uh, <clears throat> spare tire. The, all the tires are made in China. They're radial tires, 15 inch. And uh, what else? Uh, it also it has a battery power converter. So as you're driving down the highway, you're charging your battery a little bit. And then also the the battery uh, uh, powers everything on the inside except the refrigerator, which is 110 only. And this is the back of the unit. And this is the back of my place. Okay, so you can see that I've got a lot. I've still got some stuff here. I've got two of these black boxes right here filled with not much stuff because I really unloaded a lot. I mean, a ton, a ton. You wouldn't re believe what I'd hauled away and clothes too. And again, there's the screw jacks, but just those two screw jacks alone does not do a very good job. Uh, but anyway, this is the back. Let me guess, uh, while you're looking at the RV and the outside here, I will go, <clears throat> go over some stuff. <clears throat> Anyway, I hope I said they're 14 inch tires because that's what they are. They're made in China. They're uh, radial tires. The furnace is a 20,000 BTU furnace. Air conditioner is a 5,000 BTU air conditioner. Uh, the axle is a 3,000 pound axle, I believe. Now you can, you should check the lug nuts on any new RV or any RV, particularly travel trailers, uh, after you've driven a while because, uh, you know, can they come loose? No. Well, it, it's a good idea to check them okay that's all i know and as far as the grease this thing has some cute little fittings there and you can you can just pump grease in there and what you do you jack up that wheel take out there's a little plastic plug remove that and then you just start pumping in grease as you spin the wheel slowly and then you'll see the whatever if you're putting in a red colored grease say and then all of a sudden when you see the red colored grease coming out you'll know you got that uh full uh what else uh da 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 the total length of the RV, entire length from the very back tip to the front of the tip of the hitch, 18 feet 4 inches. Width, 7 feet 4 inches. Height, 9 feet 8 inches. The inside height I mentioned earlier is 6 foot 4 inches. Okay, uh, there is no outside shower, no outside sound, or no TV on the outside. If you want those things, you're going to have to add them. Uh, what else? The holding tanks. The fresh water is 33 gallons. The gray tank is 25 gallons and the black is 25 gallons. Uh, the weight. Total weight. Total dry weight 2,425 pounds. The gross vehicle weight is 36.75. So you've got about 1,250 pounds of stuff you can put in there if you want to. I've probably added about 300 pounds. Maybe. The hitch weight is 360 pounds. It's a little heavy. Why is that? Because it's got a single axle. They move the axles back a little bit because what that does is that throws all the weight on the uh, the tow vehicle, which they wanted to do so they could keep that axle from being damaged. Uh, it's got an aluminum body and aluminum sidewalls, okay? And that's that. that's the same as units that cost... 50,000 okay I mean that's all the same okay uh, this is made by far manufactured by Forest River Forest River manufactures I don't know probably 20 different brands I, I imagine and what else uh, is that I think that pretty well covers it price nine thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars and for me it's fine now a lot of people say well you know you get what you pay for and I think I did and I'm glad I mean that's all I wanted I didn't want uh, more than I paid for but you know I've done enough RV uh, videos and I've been in big fifth wheels and big travel trailers and big motor homes class A, B, C and B plus and all that stuff and you know most of them have more stuff that, well they have stuff I don't need and why I pay for it okay you know I don't want a sound system I don't want a 50 inch TV I don't want all that crap I don't want a microwave I don't want a convection oven you know that's just me now just me I understand that just me but for me this is perfect guys and if I make a step up or down from this, if I buy another RV in my lifetime, I'm 72 years old. I've been doing this for, I've been living in RV and travel trailers for 30 years. And, but if I make another change, I'll buy a class B or I won't do anything probably. Uh, there's a pile of good mesquite wood right there. Perfect for barbecuing. 
And this is my electrical out hookup that I did all by myself right here. I, I ran I ran the wire. You can see how good I did. It's just right on top of the ground. <laughs> and somebody will make a comment about that, I'm sure. That's fine. And uh, got it, it had a septic. It's way out there where it hooks up. And, uh, yeah, it's got water septic and electric here. Um, you know, water bill is $60 a month. You know, I actually had a water catchment system at one time because I didn't want to pay 60 bucks, and that's the barrels I used to catch the water in right there. And what else, what else, what else? Uh, got an electric lawnmower. It's not uh, battery electric. You got It's 110. You plug it in. And then what I do, I just mow a small spot right around, you know, just right around here, about 10 or 15 feet out. And that's it. But I own, uh, you see that pile over that pile of dirt over there? That's my neighbor's property over there, okay? He, he, uh, the guy, I, I was going to buy it from him, but he didn't want to sell it. He just got one lot. And then my property goes down past, uh, well, you may not be able to see it, but if you see this little road right there, it goes 100 feet farther that way. And then it's, it, they're 100 feet, uh, the lots are 100 feet by 50 feet, and I got 200, or two, 250 feet length total. So, anyway, but anyway, it's a great place for me, guys. And, you know, people want to know sometimes, you know, I even ask myself, why do I go traveling? Well, in the summer, it gets hot here. And besides that, I enjoy traveling, all right? And there's the pickup I pull it with. That's a 2017 Ram six-cylinder. 3.6 liter, 8-speed automatic with a tow package, 321 gears. And when I'm towing this RV, I get about 13 to 13 and a half miles per gallon, and that's it. <clears throat> when I'm not towing, I get about 25. So uh, that works pretty good because what I'll do uh, from now on is uh, what, do like I did when I was towing before, tow somewhere and, and park for a week or two or a month at a time. And uh, so anyway, from Central Texas, USA, I think I've given you everything I, that you need to know about the Coachman Clipper Cadet 16 CFB, okay? And I like it for me. I really do. I love my place. This is kind of my sitting spot right here. Somebody will make fun of that, you know, that chair because it, it's a garage sale special. It cost me 20 bucks. I'll rub it in. And what else? But yeah, it's really nice. And, and, and the great thing about it is since it has that window AC, even in the warm day, on the warm days when I have to run the air conditioner, you can't even hear it out here on the patio. Okay, you can't hear it because there's nothing on the roof. With the other RV, I had the 26-foot Jayco J-Flight. Uh, it had a, a roof AC, and if I ran it, uh, if you were out here on the patio, you couldn't even hear yourself talk, man, because it, you, know, it, you know, it just couldn't go anywhere. The sound couldn't go anywhere. And, uh, but it, they're loud anyway. I don't like them because they're loud on the inside. That's just my own opinion. A lot of people think they're okay. I'm fine with me. And uh, who else? I got a company out here. I got more company I don't know what to do with. That's my old buddy Thorny there. That's a little cactus. I used to raise tomatoes in that right there, that bucket. I had three of them. And uh, anyway, I left that one up here on the patio for summer. You know. Oh, I know what it is. I raised peppers in it. <clears throat> but anyway, old Thorny fell in there from somewhere. And he has taken hold. I mean, you've seen cactus when you're traveling, growing in the strangest places. I'm telling you, I've seen them growing on the top of a rock. You know, like how in the hell are they getting water? But anyway, they, they, they are survivors. But anyway, this is my home base, guys. So this is where Rusty lives. And when you see Rusty 78609's videos and you realize how much luxury he lives in, I mean, I'll probably lose viewers because they say, oh my God, look, how, look at all this opulence. I mean, my God, you know, we didn't know you were wealthy. Uh, you know, I mean, I hate to rub it in, but I just, I just don't have any choice. I mean, I've <laughs> got a 16-foot home. So it's actually a 16-foot, it's the inside length is 16 feet by 7 feet wide on the inside. Now, what is that? 7642, that's about 100 and something square feet total. So anyway, having said that, let me get back up here. I'm going to end this video. So from Central Texas, I'll focus on old Thorny. Let's give him a little exposure. So anyway, from Thorny and me in Central Texas, this is Rusty78609 saying adios. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, bye, USA, may when you can, drink plenty of water. 
three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's good for you, help you avoid kidney stones, gout, and it'll help you lose weight because you'll feel full and you won't want to eat so much. Then after that, take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose, deep and out through your mouth. And you hold it for a second or two and then breathe out through your mouth because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure and lowering your blood pressure will keep you alive. Okay, and then that way you'll, you'll want to do things. You want to stretch, walk, do all those cute little things and try to eat right, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, if you keep your health or reasonably keep your health, if you give your body a reasonable chance, it'll do amazingly well. So anyway, again, thumbs up. Adios, guys.